Hello everybody, I want to show you how I made this delicious red velvet sour cream cake and I have two secret ingredients. So here I am. All you will need is this one box of Duck and Heinz red velvet cake mix, a little bit of sour cream. So I'm going to follow the directions I have. Just added one cup of water. I'm going to add three eggs to this cake. And I'm going to put one half cup of sour cream. And this really gives this cake a lot of flavor and it helps the moistness in the cake. So next, I'm going to add one cup of oil to this cake. And it's just regular vegetable oil. So now, I'm just going to mix it up. Make sure everything is incorporated well. Your eggs, your sour cream, and your oil, and everything else that's already in it. So this is my next secret ingredient. I'm using one teaspoon of cake batter extract. This is really good guys. I hope y'all get to try it. I found it in the food line. And you probably can find it in Walmart. So that's it guys. Just mix everything up good. My camera my camera is a little off, but we're going to get through this. So now I'm just going to take the cake mixer apart and I'm going to get rid of the mixers. So here I am with my baking pan. I'm going to bake this in this pan right here. Just spray your pan well. My oven is already preheating. I'm going to bake this on 350 degrees and I let this cake bake for about 45 minutes because it's a one pan cake and it's in a smaller pan. I think this is a 8 by 8. So just make sure you put all your cake mix in the baking pan and guys this, this is a good cake. I really enjoyed it. It's really tasty and very, very moist. So I'm going to pop the air out. And I'm going to put it in the oven. And I'm going to let it bake. And here we are. I just took it out. I'm going to let it cool. I have it sitting here on the stove, but I am going to move it. So now that my cake has cooled, I'm going to wipe my plate. And I am sitting down, guys. I had a long day today. Plus, I'm baking another cake as well. So I'm just going to put that on my plate. And I'm going to use some cream cheese icing. You can make your icing, but I just used the one in the little tub, and that's what I'm icing my cake with, when I'm frosting my cake. So I'm just going to continue frosting it, and I put some on the sides. And I just finished it and I cut a little piece off the back or you can skimp a little piece off if you want to crumble some up and put on the top. You don't really have to but I just think that it helps it look pretty. So now I'm going to cut it. Just going to cut a little size corner off. And when I tried it I was really surprised. I like red velvet, but this just made me really love red velvet cake. So this is how it looks. 
it's really moist. It's really good. If you like red velvet, I hope you all get to try this cake. It's simple, easy, and delicious. So guys, I want to thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.